All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And uh, today we're going to teach you a new game called Number Sentences. Okay? So to play this game, you just need a regular deck of cards. Now, we're going to use school-friendly cards, which have 11s, 12s, and 13s in them, because we have that deck. If you didn't have a deck like that, um, you can obviously use a regular deck, with jacks being 11s, queens being 12s, and kings being 13s. So we shuffle the deck. Now Nash has never played before, so he's going to be learning as we as we explain it. Shuffle the deck up, Nash. And then we're going to deal out seven cards. But not like anyone. One. No, that we're going to see him. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we can decide who goes first. So I'm thinking I'll go first just because to teach how to play. So the way the game works is you, when it's your turn, you have to take three cards and make either an addition sentence okay. or a subtraction sentence. Oh. Yeah? Okay? And then whatever cards are left behind, the other player has to try and make the same sort of sentence. So if I choose to do addition, you have to make an addition. If I choose subtraction, you have to make subtraction. Okay. Does that make sense? And if you can make a sentence, you get to keep those three cards. If you can't, then you don't get to keep any cards. Okay. All right, so I'll go. Okay, do you want to go first? Yeah. 10 plus 3 equals 13. Okay, now because Nash made addition, what do I have to do, Nash? Addition. Addition. And you've actually done a good job, Nash, because you've left me with nothing. <laughs> right? I can't do any addition with this, can I? 5 and 4 makes 11. 5 and 4 makes 9. 4 and 4 makes 8. So I can't do anything. So these cards get put to the bottom of the deck. And are these Those bank? cards get flipped upside down and they're your bank. You've got three cards now. That's like three points. So put, put them in a nice neat pile to the side. No, no, in a nice neat pile because you're going to have lots of cards now then. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so we play again now. On this turn, because Nash went first last time, I go first this time. Okay, so I'm going to do 12... Take one equals 11. So Nash, are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Now, because I did subtraction, you need to do subtraction, Nash. Uh, four minus two equals two. Fantastic. So you get to bank those cards as well. Okay. And then the, we continue playing. Now, the game continues on until the deck is completely depleted. So until we get down to zero cards in the deck, the game continues on. Now obviously this game is, is looking at the, the connection between addition and subtraction, but there's also a lot of strategy involved because what cards you take, Nash, hold on, what cards you take will leave me with some other cards. So what you want to do is you want to leave your opponent with cards that they can't use. Now it's your turn. So what are you going to do, Nash? Five plus seven equals twelve. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I oh, guess. Yep, so five plus seven equals twelve. And you're saying yes. Why are you saying yes? Um, because there's nothing you can do. Okay, so so with, with what you've left me with, there's no addition that I can do, is there? So that's another three points for you. No, I'm and I get, And I'm only on three. It's number sentences. Uh, really simple game to play. All you need is a deck of cards. Like I said, these are school friendly cards um, and you can buy them from Paul Swan sells them. Uh, you can just Google Paul Swan. But if you don't have those cards, it will work equally well with a regular deck. It's just conceptually that the child's got to get in their head that the Queens are 12s and the Jacks are 11 and the Kings are 13. Hope you enjoyed playing. We'll see you next time. Bye -bye.